What is going on guys? We are back for another DSP video and I am your host bad moments or as some people call the at-home version of duty streams and we had quite a day yesterday it was a historic moment in DSP history as we saw some things we thought we'd never see but before that we have an update so anyone that's playing WWE 2k24 you can now download the detractors tag team then it looks like Brian will no longer be doing streams with DSP as he did an interview with Agent Proper yesterday. And we have Darcy to flow. Brian does not consider himself to be Phil's friend. He thinks of Phil as an internet associate. Would, would you consider yourself his friend at this point? A uh, friend is a very loose term that's being thrown around. I can't, I can't really call him my friend. That's, that's hard. Is he a internet associate? A friend in that sense? Absolutely. But I, I can't, I can't sit here and say like, oh, he's like, he's on the same level as my friends that I literally played Street Fighter with the other night. That That's not, no. The term friend is thrown around way too much. That's, no. So I'm going to leave a link to Agent Proper's channel in the description. See, the most interesting thing, in my opinion, was the reason Brian tried to cancel on DSP and why he doesn't really want to stream with him. And it's not because of the toxic behavior. It's not because of the scams, which he has called Phil out for. It's because of Derek. That is right. The longest serving, most loyal fan, Derek. Because Brian is now aware of what Derek's all about. And he even went to DSP about Derek, and DSP told him he's going to keep an eye on him. However, that is a big thing for Brian, and as you're going to see in this clip, he's taking Derek very seriously. This whole Derish thing, and, and, and trying to move this along for, for chat and, and everybody. Um, when, when you heard all the information I put out there, and you discussed it with Phil, were you satisfied with his answer at all? Uh, no, I could never be satisfied with his answer because had he been in my community, I probably would have banned him already. Okay. Just on just on the strength of that, I can't control whether these things are true or false. Does that make sense? So yeah. the risk, the risk, the risk of it being all true. Um, and worse than what we already know are way too high. Therefore, you banned in my in my community. That's just me. And again, this is all stuff I've told him. With that being said, I said to him, I'm down to do what we had planned because it was already promised. I like to keep my word. And that's why it went forward. Keep in mind, it was postponed because I had basically canceled because of that Derek shit. Oh, so you canceled the stream on him because of the, the Derek shit? Because of the Derek shit. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Um, and that's really interesting. I, I mean, I feel you right there. Yeah, I, I would totally back out too. And and did Yeah, did because he... it's it's too much. It's okay. too much. Yeah. Did, did he come back to you with any other response to try to get you to come back to his stream? Did, like, like, I, I assume something came up to where you, you decided to come back again and, and stream with him once more? Or, or are you done streaming? What do you mean after, after the Derek thing? Or yeah. do you mean like after after, moving after, past it? After moving past it, you know, you had your one last okay. session and then you saw all the clips in your live stream that people were, were trying to show you. What happened after that? Mm -hmm. So after that, we... Uh... He told me he would, you know, keep an eye on on him, or whatever, and keep an eye he on. He would him. do exactly what I asked of. Derish has been he watching. He would do exactly what I asked of, which is. Mm. Oh, go ahead. Hmm? I'll, I'll let you finish. He would do ex he would do exactly what I ask of, which is ban him, the moment anything comes out that is like irredeemable. That was his promise to me that he would. Okay. And that was it. Interesting. Well, like, like there there's got to be a line there. Mm -hmm somewhere and and it, it will be like like it's strange because Darish has been watching phil since he was 13. 
and so that's one of the things that's one of the things uh he brought up is that a lot of these allegations and this is why i say the risk of it being true untrue are way too fucking risky to even give it a possibility of something i would want to entertain he brought up the age thing of all this stuff happening when he was very young so it's like fuck I, I don't know how old this dude was when all this shit came about. I have no idea. Okay, so you have so like, I, I showed you those little girl playlists that I used to have. I, I mean, right, I've seen and, them following and, girls on Instagram, really kind of uncomfortable stuff. And and right, even, even right. for somebody of me and like like I've seen the shit of the shit on the internet. Like like that's my go to. That's mm -hmm. what I like. That's kind of what I'm entertained by, in a roundabout way. But like. The, like it's just I, i'm disappointed with phil for not drawing a line for his own community is this what agree made, i agree i agree is this gonna ruin streaming with phil for you i mean it it already has because it it, it put a it put basically a doubt in the back of my mind about this one particular person that's kind of a dedicated viewer and I personally don't have an Eric with uh, issue with Derek. Excuse me. Okay, but that's, that's fair. Th those things provide me with an issue now. <laughs> yeah. So it's like it's like I can't I can't fucking excuse it, bro. So I I do would I do the things that I promised to do already. Okay. And then at that point forward, I I, I really don't know. I can just kind of move on and do what I do. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. Um, it, it is one of those lines mm. that, that, you know, with, with dealing with Phil is, again, Darish is just the tip of the iceberg. That's what most people go to and see for the first time. But, like, I've seen Phil mock his chat, call them mouth drillers, you know, say terrible things to his chat over and over again. Yet he's fine with people having racist remarks in his chat for, for long periods of time. Like, he used to have a fan named uh, Sidella. And this guy eventually walked away from Phil. During this interview, he talked about Phil scamming with a 2K cat. He was asked about Phil's 5K month expenses. They showed him the slave trade joke. And also, Brian went on to say that the reason DSP is the way he is is because he has no friends. He put himself in a bubble. But I'm not going to spoil it to you. Go watch the parts from Agent Proper. Amazing watch. You'll love it. I guarantee it. And we have this from Blooper. Brian's respect for DSP went drastically down after seeing the slave trade joke tonight. And then he goes on to add to it. He just said he's seen stuff that makes him not want to associate with DSP until he's changed. The meerkat puts his thoughts on this. A running pattern with DSP's friends is that they just tolerate him. They probably easily see what he's like and what he's all about. It's transparent. He has no day ones or ride or die just dudes that were around and put up with his shit until they didn't. Then we get to the pre-stream. Phil Callens put this out. So it's a screenshot of the pre-chat. DSP. Good morning everyone. Wow. Anyone alive today? I swear it's like night and day in here. Some days it's super chatty and full of energy. Today, everyone is asleep. Hello all. Please let me know that you're here and able to speak. LOL. Exactly. Viewer count is going up, but no one is talking. Makes me wonder if something is up. Then if you saw the last video, you noticed that YouTube chat summaries are being generated by AI. And we have some new ones today. From Queen of Hate. People are saying goodbye to Derek, reacting to the streamer's content, asking him questions. The streamers interact with viewers, asking questions, and saying goodbye. Gamerface Gaming. DSP, streamer is interacting with his viewers by answering questions and saying goodbye. Some viewers are discussing how they plan to support DSP in the future through different means, such as AI streams or purchasing merchandise. We have Gout Gout. This is a discussion about a person named Cat, whose PC is being taken away by their spouse, who prefers consoles. People are reacting with shock, disbelief, and amusement at the situation. We have Taken L's. The chat is discussing Phil Spencer's reaction to the Brian slash proper situation with some siding with Phil and others supporting Brian. Brian and Dave played a co-op together in the past, but had fallen out. 
It seems the chat believes that Brian may reconnect with David's ex, John Rambo. And then we get to the pre-stream and he opens this up on Father's Day. First of all, he says, Happy American Father's Day. Most alien thing I've ever seen. Then we have a quote from DSP. You should talk to your dad today. Hopefully he's alive. Then he went on to say, I'm a cat dad, but not a human dad. And he decided to do suggestion box. However, there was a problem. So Windows forced an update, which caused all of his browsers to close down, which means he had to reopen all of them. I mean, what a huge inconvenience for you, Phil. And what he does is he leaves the browsers open. So he had a browser open on the suggestion box from months ago that he never closed down or anything. So he could save his spot and see where he left off. DSP is complaining that Windows Update forced a restart and closed his browser. He's doing suggestion box and he has the browser open since last time he did suggestion box. He's complaining he lost his place in the suggestion box. Then he went on to give health advice. And he was talking about his weight. DSP says he's back up to over 203 pounds. Last year, he said he was 185, 190. He's now given advice of how to lose weight. And we have David Davidson. Phil's now trying to give advice on how to eat healthy, fat wife by the way, and that you should make your own breakfast burritos. Calories is what get you fat, Phil. There are other things you can do to make things healthy, and making homemade breakfast burritos ain't it. Poems Josh adds on to that. Reminder, midnight snack burgers. Yeah, so as David Davidson pointed out, Kat wanted to start making healthier breakfasts, so she's making meal prepping breakfast burritos. I think the healthy option for Kat is to eat less. And then DSP went on to say from Poems Josh, making burritos at home is better because they use normal tortillas. When you order burritos from Mexican place, they are huge and probably use tortillas that you can't buy outside of having the right commercial connections. Then he went on to say that his wife started playing Destiny 2. And guess what guys? It's too hard for her. Well, when you're sheltered in Fallout and Skyrim, yeah, everything else is pretty hard. Then we have another quote from DSP. You can't get blood out of a rock. Then DSP started talking about the PC and how he's going to upgrade and take his wife's PC. If you haven't seen that last video cover that. And he said, I want to go to the next level in my content. The guy who kept saying, I'm comfortable here on level one. Why would I want to go to the next level? Now wants to go to level two. And then I put this out. So this is from DSP's Instagram where it shows off his wife's computer, which is now his computer. Imagine that DSP having a computer that has a light on it. Didn't he rant against this in the past? And DSP says as the caption, my girlfriend's computed is way cooler looking than mine. Then he wants to celebrate that he's getting a new PC. And what better way for DSP to celebrate it than having a send off stream for his PC. Head up his entire ass. And then people push back like, that's not fair to Kat. What if she wants a game on it? What if she wants to use it? And DSP said, it's a better setup in the living room for Kat. And then without anyone asking, he said this. DSP says he could do a fundraiser event for a new PC and people would give him money for the PC but then went on to complain that people will not give him money on top of that plus their daily stuff afterwards. What a scumbag. Then he was saying how Stardew Valley is too complicated for him. It's too hard. He needs the chat to help him. And Titanium Tractor. My baby sister figured Stardew Valley out when she was 9. Then we get to DSP Reacts slash DSP versus the internet. The bottom of the barrel right after throwback. Theo puts this out. I think it's very funny. DSP hates how people upload toxic videos and YouTube favors drama. DSP watches an anchor grandpa video where the grandpa reunites with his family. DSP says it's disgusting that it was uploaded. I believe he said it was personal, should not be viewed by anyone outside the family. And then we have Nerd Brew. Nightbot is loving reacts and you can see the chat. Every single one of them is Nightbot. Then DSP saw a video about electronics and he said, isn't a car an electronic? It has the electronics built into it. And of course, what would a DSP reacts slash DSP versus the internet be without him making fun of people in the videos? So we have this from Mary Sci-Fi. 
You can't make this shit up. Today, I'd like to talk about Terios the Hedgehog, the forgotten Sonic character. He has the oddest filming location. Like, he's filming in his living room like that, right? Like, he didn't even have, like, a, he couldn't have a dedicated wall or something. It's like this weird background. It's kind of, like, distracting. Like, I, I'm like, okay, here's the video. I'm, I'm just staring at his background, right? I'm like, I can't, I can't concentrate on what he's talking about because <laughs> I can't. It's too distracting. <clears throat> Hello everyone, DSP here. Uh, but you're probably shocked. What's going on everyone? Darkside Phil here and I am pissed off. Of course the guy who throws all his garbage in the background is making fun of someone else's background. Then ladies and gentlemen, one of the funniest moments all year. We have this from Kiwi Tapes. It appears DSP just streamed Transporn to DSP Reacts. Fun positive content coming in nicely and this was funny because he didn't get angry at this he started laughing at it almost like he enjoyed it because if there's a sexy dirty talking fridge oh no dude i have to rage like crazy if there's a trans person getting fucked hard oh it's so cool dude it's like me and john rambo intelligent life well there you go all right cool let's continue here we go let's hear it vantage point the earth might not seem of any particular interest. Oh my god, Will. <laughs> I guess I gotta ban someone. I guess we gotta ban someone, guys. It's time to ban someone. Someone literally edited in a clip into that. Yeah. Some fucking asshole edited a clip into that because I actually fast-forwarded through it and that wasn't there. So, now I gotta ban someone from fucking doing video submissions. Sorry about that. Obviously, now, I'm not going to be uploading that video to YouTube. <laughs> and I'll do my best. I'll probably uh, edit that out of the archive stream as well. Some fucking moron. <clears throat> well, what can you do? What's weird about that, it's from three months ago. And it has 5,500 views. So, it's like, how would you have known? This, this must be a troll video, not for me. This was a troll video made for someone else and someone found it, right? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I got to find out who that was. In fact, hold on a second. I don't know if I can now because... DSP's got to be the dumbest person ever. He says, oh, that is a troll video, but not for me, for someone else. Phil, it had Derek's face in it. It had Derek's chat in it. It had a person wearing an Argentina shirt in it. That was 100% made for you. Then we have Queen of Hate. DSP tries it. Transgender porn. So now we're going to see Derek's response to it. Yeah, I think they were trying to troll me. I think I'll report the video and flag it. I think they were trying to troll me. I saw my YouTube comments. I saw my name in it. WTF? And then Derek again. WTF? You know what happened is right after this, he didn't report it. He probably saved that video, download it, so he can figure out all the porn actors in that scene and shout them out on Twitter. Then we also have this from Queen of Hate, from Josh in DSP's chat. God, I hate that one chatter. That is super annoying, is one we can't say anything about or we get in trouble. And then Bob has a very wise idea here. So Phil is scrubbing through React fades, but just visually in the preview bar. This means he won't know if audio has been messed with. Great opportunity for Phil to hear Derek's apology to Reese Robbins. Then we get to DSP throwback, his rise of nightmares, which is absolutely horrible. Monetizing his friend yet again. However, DSP did something really weird. He said this was his wife's remember. DSP is drinking a V8 energy drink. Remember when he told people that energy drinks are one of the worst things to drink? Remember this morning when he was given health advice? And then people were asking about his Dante's Inferno playthrough and why he's not uploading to YouTube. DSP said the throwback channel is for posterity, but then said he can't upload the Dante's Inferno playthrough because it can't be monetized. He then said that the idea of the channel, throwbacks, is to monetize his old content. He's actually honest about something right there. And I also put this out. Watching DSP move around while using the Connect for Rise of Nightmares, it doesn't even look like a person with a bad back. Great, now we're swimming. Oh no! <laughs> so enthusiastic. Oh, swimming. 
Look at me. <laughs> Do the backstroke. <laughs> Yeah, because remember, he said there was days where he couldn't even move. He had shooting pain up and down his arms and his spine and his legs and stuff. He looked pretty good there. And then to add on to the Dante's Inferno, DSP keeps talking about Dante's Inferno and how he never beat it and doesn't remember it. He would love the final boss. It's Lucifer with a giant BBC hanging out, lol. What a day that was. Hope you guys like that, click that like, share the video, leave a comment below, hit subscribe, subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. As always, I love each and every one of you, hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy, peace and love.